Hi, I heard we're going to talk about apps and tablets, or what do you got for me? Yes, we're going to talk about the Verizon Innovative App Challenge. Okay, tell me about that. So the Verizon Innovative App Challenge is a national contest for middle and high school students where they just need to submit an idea for a mobile app that solves for a real-world problem. Okay, and so these problem-solving ideas are from students nationwide? Yes, they are. It's open to any middle or high school student who forms a team of at least five to seven. And they just need a sponsor. So if they're at school, they need to ask a teacher or administrator to sponsor them. But if they're in an after-school club, for example, Boys and Girls Club, they can ask a um, club leader to sponsor them. And then they just have to come up with a great idea and submit it by November 24th. Now, what kind of apps are you looking for? You're using apps to solve medical mysteries or uh, everyday life problems, or we have such an aging population, apps that can help that group? Yes. I mean, we're looking for anything. We just want the next great idea, and it has to actually solve for a real problem. You know, for example, we've have had apps in the past that have solved, actually right from Texas, we had a group of girls who came up with an app called Hello Navi, that solved for a blind student actually being able to navigate the halls of their school. Um, and then we've had apps that have helped um, people with dyslexia and even Alzheimer's. So it's really just around coming up with a great idea for a mobile app that solves a problem that they see around them. Oh, those are great success stories. How can, once they secure, secure a sponsor, how can they enter the challenge once again? They can go to verizon.com slash app challenge and they register their team and they have to submit their idea by November 24th and it's just a short video and a short essay that they have to create around what their what the app idea is and the problem that they're trying to solve and there's some great prizes involved from best in state winners all the way to best in nation winners so we hope that a lot of people um, are able to submit the idea by November 24th. Can you sponsor a young person that you want to, just saying you go to your local school and you're on a PTA and you say we want to sponsor this group or this particular student? Can you do it that way? Um, no. We, we really like in a school setting for a teacher or administrator, an employee of the school to actually sponsor the students, and the same with after-school clubs. Um, you know, so it, uh, parents can absolutely help. They can go and help the students ideate. They can help them come up with ideas. They could help them storyboard the idea. But as far as a sponsor is concerned, we would like someone who actually works in the school system or the after-school club to sponsor the students. The Best in the Nation's winner will receive what as a grand prize? So Best in State winners receive $5,000 for their schools and a tablet for every winning student. And in Best in Nation, they receive up to $20,000 for their school, a tablet from Verizon for each winning student, and they receive expert training from MIT to help them take that idea and actually bring it to life. All right. Once again, how can they apply? Verizon.com slash app challenge. Justine Nixon Santil, thank you so very much for being on the Valder Beebe Show. I love this. I love this innovation. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for having me.